Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial in network analysis and synthesis. Today we'll discuss about graph theory and we'll talk about some key terms in graph theory that are trees, twigs and links. These are pretty basic terms as far as graph theory is concerned but a clear and concise understanding of these terms is super essential to perform various numericals and objective type questions in the examinations. So let us start. Um, we'll need to understand the term graph. Once we know what graph is, we can derive uh, trees from a graph and then we'll see what twigs are and then links are. So in other words, graph is the superset of uh, the trees and the twigs and the links. A graph is going to be a simplistic representation of a network. Please understand a graph may have many trees. Now if you look at this figure, this is a graph. That represents nodes of a network and branches of a network. Now nodes are represented using these numerals with circles so this has four nodes and branches are represented using the numerals now once we know what graph is we can proceed on to find out the trees which are hidden within this graph it's more of a riddle kind of a thing because uh, a tree is is a number of interconnected set of branches that include all the nodes but do not form any closed loop so what we need to figure out here is for tree is that it should cover all nodes point number one and uh, it should not form a closed loop this is point number two. So in other words, if we were to find out what trees are there in this uh, graph, so we can simply draw all the nodes here. One, two, three, and four. And then this possibility is one tree because it consists of interconnected set of branches that include all the nodes. So please understand this is an interconnected set of branch network which includes all the nodes. Similarly we can have another tree which could look something like this. And another tree could look something like this <clears throat> another tree could look something like this and we have many combinations of interconnections that may result in covering of all the branches or oh, I'm sorry all the nodes in the network this is one example so it's pretty elementary but you need to figure out what all possible combinations can be there so this is how <coughs> trees are made out of a graph so I hope the definition is also clear. Now if we talk about the definition of a twig, once we have formulated all the trees out of the graph, we need to find out what twigs are and what links are. Please understand all the interconnections used for making a tree will result in twigs. 
So all the bold lines that we see here are twigs. So you can see that there are one, two and three twigs here, three twigs here, three twigs in all the trees. And there's a very famous relation between twigs and lines and twigs and nodes, which is if the uh, number of nodes are n, then twigs will be n minus 1. So this is very, very important. So there's a famous relationship between twigs, lines and nodes. If the number of nodes are n, then twigs will be n minus 1. And if the number of lines are L and number of branches are B, then there's this relationship between L, B and N. Uh, you could remember this or commit to your memory. But this is pretty elementary when you, you'll start finding out uh, the trees out of the graph, you'll automatically see that uh, twigs are formed and you'll count them. They'll be one less than the number of nodes. The number of nodes here are four, so the twigs will be three. And the leftover connections are known as links. Please understand, links are going to be the leftover connections and they are represented using dotted lines. And you'll find that they also have a peculiar relationship between twigs and branches. They are one less than the twigs. So for three twigs, there are two links in the trees. And <clears throat> moreover, the links do not belong to any particular tree. Uh, we know that twigs being the branches of the tree belong to that trees but these links are just the leftover branches or uh, they do not belong to a particular tree. So that is how uh, a graph is related to its trees and twigs and links and I hope this quick tutorial was of help. If you liked the video give it a thumbs up. I'll make more videos on this topic graph theory is not um, a common uh, chapter in network analysis and synthesis in most of the universities in India but if if you um, if you mention in the comments that I should make more videos on this I'll definitely do that take care and bye bye